Episode 23, Girl on the Battlefield. Right, this is still happening. Picking up right where we left off. Take her somewhere she'll be safe. Winry, Al is still fighting, so I have to go. Okay? I'm sorry. When this is over, I'll explain everything. Waiting, the only thing I can do. It's not all she can do, though. Go and back them up. Right. And sir, please stay out of the field. I know, Lieutenant. <laughs> Go. <laughs> you won't give up. <laughs> this area looks deserted. <laughs> this alleyway? I'm useless to you now. What are you talking about? You cannot burden yourself with me. If you do, they'll only get you two. A king is no king without his people, but a people without their king would be lost as well. You can't do that to them. My lord, think of our clan. You must live for their sake. I won't leave you. He wouldn't be much of a king if he just dropped her. For the greater good. Not fun. What are you planning? No. no don't do it. Did that just happen? No. You poor boy. Alchemy trapped you in that metal prison and yet you still have faith in it. True. There are plenty of things about this body that are inconvenient. But it's nothing I can't live with. I don't need pity from anyone. Least of all from you. My brother used Alchemy to save my life. To regret the form I have now would mean not only rejecting alchemy, but also turning my back on him. I believe in my brother, and I believe in alchemy. I will not lose faith. I want to believe. It's very honest. <laughs> brother, where's Winry? She's safe. No thanks to me, though. I made her cry again. You really should be more careful, brother. I mean, that wasn't on Ed. At all. But she's gone now. Let's end this. Oh, I found you! Wow. Well, this is the plan. Now we're just waiting on Hawkeye. Look at his tattoo! Homunculus! Oh, is this their first time seeing Gluttony? It's not Scar's first time seeing him. <laughs> it was so cool. It's not gonna do it though. But we know he can be killed at least. Get me some strong that was really well done. Right, Your own regenerative abilities working against you. Your flesh won't stop expanding. It'll keep you tied up nice and tight. You're mine now, homunculus. What a plan! She chopped off her own arm. I need you. How does it feel to be tricked? You lose this round. Did he lose? <laughs> I mean, he's all right. Feels like the cost was greater for them than it was for Bradley. I mean, I guess it's a win if you survive against Bradley at all. There she is. Pretty cool. Damn, Ling. Hold on a sec, Lieutenant. Shh. Thanks for stopping by, Hawkeye. The MPs are watching. Just pretend we don't know her. They're getting away! After them! Right! The Colonel may Smart. be a creep and a jerk, but at least we can trust him. <laughs> True. <laughs> You killed the Rock Bells and Nina, among many others. You're going to answer for your crimes! 
I was wondering where she was. Oh. Are these two giving you trouble, servant? Servant. Get away, girl! It's dangerous! They've got us outnumbered. It's time for us to retreat! What the heck? Alka history. My friend, I left her behind. Go get her. What? No, we can't. We don't have time. Make time. She could be dying now. She's still waiting there for me. You had better make it quick. Good. That's very satisfying. <laughs> oh, but he can. Can he see? That he knows, right? Driving. Yeah. I'm sure she's Mustangs. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired of playing games with that upstart. Yeah, he's always known. Full metal alchemist. Nice food photo cards. Her eyes. Is that how mine looked? Yeah. So in the last episode, I was thinking that this must have had some effect on Scar. He can tell himself all he wants that what he's doing is justified, but to actually see the daughter of someone he killed in cold blood, he's not that far gone. He's probably always known it. It's just a different story when you come face to face with something, right? There are like levels of awareness to the things you've done in the past. By yourself reflecting, you might not get the full weight, but then actually encountering it face to face, it makes it real in a new way or in a different way. So it's got to be a big turning point for Scar. No matter what I do, hatred only breeds more hatred. Shoumei, where are you? Oh no. Look what I found, Ed. Oh no. <laughs> She's in good hands. Look how sweet and gentle she is. <laughs> it's all right. You're safe now. What is this? A food pyramid? Good priorities. Hey, Winry. Huh? Oh. Hello there, Full Metal Alchemist. If you're Bradley, this is a surprise. What brings you here? One thing that's a little bit hard to keep track of in the show for me sometimes is who knows what and who knows who, you know what I mean? If I remember correctly, Ed and Al suspect that there's someone high-ranking in the military involved in the affairs of the homunculi. But I think the only person who actually has direct experience with him so far as Ling. But it seems like they know enough to be suspicious of this, right? I heard that a childhood friend of yours was under our protection here at the command center. As a friend of such an important alchemist, she deserves our every courtesy. I should be on my way now, if you'll please excuse me, miss. Oh, of course, sir. That's a nice, honest friend you've got there. Make sure you both take good care of her. Honest friend, you say, huh? What did she say? You promised. Tell me everything about my parents. What happened to them? See, they did everything they could to help others, right up until the end. But I, I just wish they could have come back to me alive. Is that selfish? More waiting. That's all I can ever do. No, there's a lot more than that. I feel like this is setting up for Winry to have a realization about herself. But, you know, it's pretty obvious to everybody watching that that's not all she does. She doesn't fight, but I think it's a mistake thinking that the fighting is all of it. She's someone who's really important for the brothers to be able to do what they do in the first place. I mean, aside the obvious of like making Ed's auto mail, I feel like she's a large part of their motivation for caring about their lives. And it seems like she only gets more important over time with their shared experiences. And throughout the show, we've seen her be emotionally supportive of both of them, even extending back to their childhoods, even though I think they're close in age. And even though Winry is somewhat of like a romantic interest for Ed, in a lot of ways right now, she's sort of a big sister. But I also understand the pain of feeling powerless or feeling like you have nothing to do. Sometimes it's the moments when you're idle that are the hardest to cope with emotionally. Automail is a really good fit for her, but her being on the road so often, I guess makes that difficult. Perfect timing. Miss Rockbell, there's a telephone call for you. For me? Yes, hello? 
Oh, Mr. Garfield. I'm sorry about this, Winry. I know you've got a lot going on, and I tried to handle it myself, really. Where is she? Isn't Winry back yet? Look at this. Winry's the only one who can fix But I can't take this anymore. Your customers are so needy. Please hurry back, Winry. We miss you. You there, Miss Winry? Tetsu? Please come back to the shop soon. You do a much better job working on my leg than Mr. Garfield can. We need you here. <laughs> Yeah, another thing, Winry. We still need an outer covering for that model leg you made for me. My arm needs work. Hey, hold on a sec. I was first. There you go. Throw yourself into work. I'll be back home soon. Just hold on. I won't be much longer. I'll help everyone. Thank you all. I'll help everyone. Thank you both for stopping me back there. Yeah, that I was clutch. There were still people who depended on me. If I had done it. I wouldn't have been able to face them again. Of course. I expect you to take good care of your auto mail. Yeah, right. Oh, and the next time I make you cry, I hope that they'll be... Huh? What? I can't hear you. What was he gonna say? Brother? Wait up! He tried. He tried. Kind of. Come back, Edward! What were you saying? Yeah, we all want to know. <laughs> you cry I hope there'll be tears of joy and Al and I will be back in our normal bodies and I'll make you cry out of sheer happiness that's a <laughs> promise <laughs> that was way bolder than I thought it would be give me a new arm and a leg I need one year well there's no turning back for us now brother <laughs> what are you crying for Winry Could do a lot worse than Ed. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. I'm the one who suggested it, remember? We both had something to gain out of it, so it made sense. When I went in search of immortality, I knew I must be ready to make certain sacrifices. Yeah, but you know he's gotta be questioning his choice now, too. I wasn't ready for this. Monfan was, though. She made the decision that I was too weak to make. She's awake. I'm just glad she's alive, honestly. I thought she was I thought she killed herself. That old trap of yours worked pretty well. Oh, that's right. She got it from Ed. You know, I can introduce you to a great engineer. I appreciate you finding a doctor. It was no problem. Thank you for helping us with the Ross incident. And also for bringing this thing in. What do we have here? That's Gluttony. He's a homunculus. <laughs> he and his friends appear to have connections among some of the military senior staff. Just some, you say? It goes far deeper than that. Yeah, Ling knows. Tell him. Your Fuhrer King Bradley. There we go. I believe it's possible that he's a homunculus too. <laughs> he saw the eye. I saw his eye. No way. A ruler? A homunculus? Although. Bradley doesn't have the same sort of inhuman presence that you get from Gluttony. At his core, he still feels like a regular person. Another thing. <laughs> if the Fuhrer is a homunculus, how can he possibly have a son? It's said in that book that the homunculi have no reproductive capabilities. Wait, that was a boy? <laughs> I thought it was a daughter. Oops. No. The Fuhrer's son Salim is adopted. There's no direct blood relation between Salim. him and his father. Got it. Either way, these new developments will make it easier to remove him from the seat of power. Yeah, but it also makes him way more dangerous. I'm not gonna let you just waltz off with him. That's right. Think about it, Ling. You're an illegal alien. I'm too old for this kind of thing. Of Good luck, Mustang. I'm going, going home. Work. Listen to me. I'm a Mustang. Mustang was one who killed last. Mustang must pay for what he did to her. Oh, damn. <laughs> Whoa.
Whoa. Why does he have the eye of the truth? What was that? What's his connection? That just thickened the plot a little bit for the humunculi. I mean, I know there's something more to them. I know there's a grand plan for them. There's a reason they exist and it's not just carrying out father's bidding. They must be part of a bigger plan that, that he's orchestrating. But I didn't expect to see the eye in, in Gluttony's stomach. Yeah, but anyway, this has been a crazy sequence from the beginning. From the moment the plan started, it's been nonstop. I haven't expected these little emotional breaks. Like in the middle of all this action, in the middle of all these forces coming together, you also had the last episode with, with Winry and Scar's backstory. And also in this episode, between the battle and figuring out what to do with Gluttony, we have Winry coming to some realizations about her own value and also about her feelings for Ed. I've been waiting to see when that would become a thing. Another great thing I think these episodes did is now Ling seems awake. He seems like very active and important as a character. And there's some great character development for him showing his values and not wanting to leave Yanfan, Lanfan behind. And now, plot-wise, they know a lot more than they did. Like, they're now sure beyond any doubt that Bradley is involved. And Roy Mustang seems excited about that, which makes sense. I mean, it plays into his plans in a way. But also, I feel like he might be underestimating the danger there. Though, it can't be a bad thing that he knows, right? At least, like, now they're on the same page and they know what's going on a little bit more than they did before. But it's all very exciting stuff. There's just a mix of all the right elements, like action, feeling, character building. All really fun, and also a little bit of a breather from the last episode, which was really, really intense. But anyway, that's the end of episode 23. See you guys next time for 24. Thank you.